I'm Ian Henschke and welcome to Stateline South Australia. The grand 19th century clipper ship, the City of Adelaide, carried emigrants to South Australia for more than a quarter of a century. But it's now sitting in dry dock under threat of demolition in Scotland. So it's not surprising there's now a plan to save it and give it a permanent home in Port Adelaide. And the naval architect who's heading the push to save the City of Adelaide has just found another ally in one of the state's best known cricketers. South Australia is my native home. It this is the city of Adelaide. It had its maiden voyage in 1864, but it's now sitting on a slipway on the Scottish coast, a half hour's drive from Glasgow. And we're bound to South Australia. A sad fate for the oldest clipper ship in the world, and it's also the sole surviving sailing ship that brought passengers to South Australia. And this is the model of the city of Adelaide, so it's a better indication of what it looked like. It was a longer than a 747 jumbo jet. Uh, so meterage? Meterage, metre 74 metres long. We brought out many migrants to South Australia. We, uh, we believe that about a quarter of a million South Australians, like yourself, are descended from the city of Adelaide passengers. Former state and international cricketer Darren Lehman is back in Adelaide taking a break from his coaching commitments in India. With the help of Peter Roberts, the director of the Save the City of Adelaide Trust, he's discovering that he literally would not be standing here today if it wasn't for this historic ship and the passengers it carried to Semaphore in 1876, when his great-great-great-grandparents and their five children made the three-month journey to escape Prussian rule in Europe and start new lives in South Australia. And the assisted migrants, uh, or free passage migrants, such as your yeah. ancestors, would have slept down below in the lower deck area here. So Hans and Christine and the kids would have been in here? Yes. Yeah? Typically families would be accommodated to, in the centre of the ship to one side of the main hatch. This is a photo of Darren Lehman's great-great-great-grandparents, Hans and Christine, in Denmark before they left. A cousin emailed this to the Save the City of Adelaide website along with a family tree that shows the sportsman's a fourth generation descendant of Marin, the youngest child to make the voyage. It's an eye opener for me full stop um, to know where I've come from in Denmark and just it's like that, you know, where did you come from and how did you get here and, and so many, they had ten children and you know, I, my great-great-grandmother was a two-year-old on the boat and managed to survive that trip, you know, 94 days, you know, from, from Denmark to Port Adelaide. Darren Lehman certainly knows a lot about cricket, both as a player and as a coach. Darren Lehman, his second century in the series. I would expect that is a... But he's now only just beginning to learn about his fascinating family, courtesy of Peter Roberts, the man who's been on a 10-year crusade to bring the city of Adelaide back to Adelaide. This one couple, Hans and Christine, um, migrated to South Australia, and, and now you have a family tree of their descendants, which is 29 pages long. But one of the most remarkable discoveries he's made today is that she kept the ticket her family came out on when they got free passage to South Australia 134 years ago. And it's made him think about taking a journey back to trace his Danish origins. The history now has just opened up a whole different view for me, so now it's a case of finding out more about it. Would you like to go back to Denmark and see where you came from? Definitely now, yeah, yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, I'd love to go back and I will take the family back now, that's once I know more about it. Now, the big goal is to, to obviously get the city of Adelaide back, but for me to learn more about my family history as well along the way. This ticket is the only one that's ever been found from the city of Adelaide. It was kept by Marin in her scrapbook, and Peter Roberts has now given Darren Lehman a copy that he intends to hoard in the family tradition. It's in perfect nick as well, so, uh, I mean, to keep an original ticket, and the only one of its kind from the city of Adelaide on that journey is, is an amazing... It looks great, it's just... Perfect. Uh, you couldn't imagine a, a better ticket. So, and to get a copy at the end of the day was amazing as well. That goes straight up amongst anything else I've ever done in, in cricket or in life. I mean, that, that's straight up in pride and place in the house. Darren Lehman's ancestor's ticket could form part of a public display if the historic ship makes it back to Port Adelaide for the state's 175th anniversary next year. And although the city of Adelaide may look like a bit of a wreck today, according to naval architect Peter Jackson, it's actually in remarkably good condition. 
because until just 20 years ago, it was used as a floating club room for the Naval Reserve in Glasgow. Yeah, she was painted, uh, there was velvet seats and carpets and uh, you know, a fully functioning bar and everything. It was like going on board a modern restaurant. So, yeah, she was in great condition. And that's what it could look like in Port Adelaide? Oh, certainly, yes. That, that's, that's, that's very doable. That's not an expensive uh, uh, activity to get to that sort of level. The problems began for the city of Adelaide one night in 1989 when there was a low tide and she slipped from her mooring ropes and listed to one side. Water flooded through the portholes and she sank. A rescue operation refloated her and she was moved to a slipway in the seaside town of Irvin. The Scottish Maritime Museum has had no money to restore her and now there are even bigger problems. Yes, the Scottish Maritime Museum who own the ship have it on a slipway which doesn't belong to them. The owners of the slipway, we understand they wanted to redevelop the site, they have served an eviction notice on the Scottish Maritime Museum, they've got to get the ship off. Earlier this year, Peter Roberts and fellow member of the Save the City of Adelaide Trust, Tom Chapman, went to Scotland to see the ship for themselves and put a strong case to the Scottish Government for it to come back to Adelaide. But the Scottish authorities are also considering requests for it to go to Sunderland in England and somewhere else in Scotland. We're expecting a decision to be announced in August. So we are, we're in the, the final days or final weeks of the decision being made. And so do you think there's a good chance this ship could come to South Australia? Very good chance. We are regarded as being the, the short odds favourites for this. The Save the City of Adelaide project was given even more hope this month when the Duke of Edinburgh gave a rare interview to mark the 40th anniversary of the saving of the SS Great Britain, an historic ship designed by Brunel that's regarded as the world's first ocean liner. He told BBC Radio the City of Adelaide needs to be saved as well. And we've still got a hideous problem with, with the um, uh, City of Adelaide. It's caught in a sort of trap and a time warp and everything else because they suddenly because it was falling to bits they pulled it out of the water and it's it's now become a, a protected I mean, a listed building but they can't raise the money to do anything with it the ss great britain was towed all the way back from the falklands and is now a major tourist draw card in bristol this is what the save the city of adelaide trust hopes for and if darren lehman's reaction to his journey of discovery is any guide that may just happen we must get it back to Adelaide. Obviously, I'm pretty biased with that, but uh, you know the government's got to get behind it. Everyone's got to get behind it to, to get our, our ship back, basically, to uh, Port Adelaide. Little way and make a noise, we're bound to sound.